finish the green? I think so. I may need to start it down a little bit. That's what that was about inside. Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my son, oh, Mike, no. one of my many sons. No, 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 no. The reigning champion. Well, you know, somebody <laughs> was calling you out because they said that you weren't, uh, Weren't, weren't doing your own video. I, I think you need to... Well, first off, I don't have a YouTube channel to post on to begin with. So how can I do my own video that I'm not YouTube channel to post on? Well, that's true. And second, I'm not really... I'm kind of done with doing my own channel. Because he's got his own thing. Fun but, diddly, but, diddly, but diddly, 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 diddly. Okay. Well, I think... Do you have some words for, for your brother? Well, I hope he'll cast that check. Oh, 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 okay. Hopefully, I cast that check. I was gonna say, how how's that crow taste? Probably like eagle, nasty. Um, you might be able to cast that check come come Sunday. You know what might be sad? They, they still play the eagle, don't they? One more time, do they? I don't know. Or are they done? So he has the opportunity. No, no, yeah, yeah. They play the Eagles. They play the Eagles at one, and then they play. Then we play at at eight. So gonna, is he going to do two streams that day? No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. He's going to do two You streams? mean, wait a minute. So it's possible that Pistol could lose the trophy, the Joe Barty. Yeah, because if, if the Eagles win this one, oh, damn. the Eagles are going to be hungry because they know that they're going to be in the playoffs. Oh. And they, and they need to win to keep that spot. Damn, Pistol, you, you may end up with nothing this offseason. Damn. Okay, so... We're here, of course, on Sunday night. Why? You know, we, we, we have to win next week, too. Because I don't want to be looking at that Washington cushion all off season. Oh, you're right about that. If, if nothing else, I don't want to look at that cushion. <laughs> you're right about that. No, we, we better decimate that team. Yeah, because I hope And I'm for, um, you know, we have a lot of Dak haters out there. You know, the funny thing about Dak haters are they're blind and they can't see. All the things that happened. Yeah, but our offense, our offensive line played better. Offensive line played even, better. Even yeah. without Tom Smith, actually, they did pretty good. They only got blown out once. Well, I, I agree with that. They played better. Zeke ran better. Tony um, Pollard played Tony better Pollard, than I thought. Tony Pollard was great. He played better than I thought he would. I, th but, I don't think it was that many snaps, to be honest. Sitting there looking at my chat during the game. All I got is Dak sucks, Dak sucks, um, Dak sucks. Wait, wait, wait about the Cardinals who got blown out by, by the Lions. Well, well, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> but or or the Ravens. The thing or that the Ravens, the Dak haters seem to miss, is the fact that we had eight drop passes. Eight drop passes, and I'm not saying that Dak is perfect because. Yeah, Dak but, wasn't. But, three but you got to look at everything. But three of them were CeeDee Lamb. He was over three of them were Mari Cooper. And CeeDee Lamb was like, the sun's in my eyes. You can see his expression. It didn't look like he was talking about the sun was in his eyes, please. But regardless, they, they, they were catchable. And, catchable. and they might have been, but I'm just saying oh, that you have to look eyes. at totality because Dak haters don't take that into consideration. Talking about, talking about the sun's in his eyes. Give me a break. That there might be some other circumstances that, that yeah. are a problem. But here's the interesting thing, because everybody's like, oh, well, the Cowboys, you ain't got a chance in the playoffs or anything like that because your offense is terrible. I dare say that looking at the NFC, that there's no juggernaut team that is great on offense and defense. Uh, everybody's Green Bay, Green Bay let, let, let um, a backup quarterback come back on them. And if it weren't for – Because their defense was terrible. Their de yeah, that's what I was going to say. You let a backup court, not Lamar Jackson, <laughs> come back on you. It was a backup Lamar Jackson um, come back on you. Now he actually, Your he actually looked really good, terrible. too. The backup quarterback, he actually looked really good, too. Almost came back and won, but then they went for two. See, I'm going to tell you. That's that's how ignorant teams are going for going forward. Right, because, see. The Chargers could have won if they did go You, you ain't let me say shit, are you? You just not let me get shit in. Here's the thing. I am getting sick and tired of teams always going for it on fourth down. They were down in the red zone early in the game. They went for it on fourth down, failed to convert. That had been a field goal. Guess what? 
that field goal would have won him the game. The same thing about the damn Chargers the night before. You keep going, and you know, don't get me wrong, I believe that you, you want to have faith in your team and stuff, yeah, but, but sometimes, you know what, let's just take the three points and go on. Let's just take the damn three points and go on, because I'll take three instead of nothing, because I've seen a whole lot of nothings lately. Now, as we look at these teams, and I bring up that, that game in particular, because they came from a, 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 a whisker away from having that thing in overtime and maybe losing it because the Ravens had some momentum. I look at the Rams. The Rams had a great game this past week against Arizona, but now you have to wonder, was it a great game yeah. by the Rams, or <laughs> is Arizona actually a bad team? Because they literally just lost to the Lions. Kyler Murray all of a sudden isn't that MVP candidate that everybody kept talking about, right? Now, you've had Brady, of course, who has been the most consistent throughout the season. But, hell, they lost to the Washington football team in Washington. There is no team that doesn't have an Achilles heel. Now, here's what's incredible about the Cowboys. Defense wins championships when weather turns and gets cold. You understand that? Defenses. And all of a sudden, we've got a defense with some studs in there. Navelle Gallimore is the guy that when I, I said in the draft, I wanted that guy. He took out, he took out another guy tonight. Him and, him and uh, Randy Gregory took out another guy tonight. Right. And we're putting pressure on Mother Humpers like there ain't no tomorrow. Those are things that will win you championships. Now, now, who, now who's starting for Washington next week for both of them? Who knows? But, man, they don't even know who's starting for tomorrow. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying, though, because um, two of – their, their quarterback and their backup quarterback are both on the list. Well, they'll be back by then. <laughs> the question will be is, will they be back yeah, for, the for the Eagle game? Yeah. And they lose that one, all hope is lost if the Eagles beat the Giants the following week. Now, right at the moment, we've moved up in the standings. That's right. We've moved up in the standings. Now, we had a golden opportunity, but the damn... Baltimore Ravens, damn it, they screwed us. Yeah, they did. The Ravens, all they had to do was kick the extra point and try and take it to overtime. But no, those mother humpers say, no, we want to win it now. We want to be the tough guy. Tough guys went home a lot. We went home with the uh, 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 an L. What was their record? I think they were 2-7. and seven. Now they're 2-8 and eight and, and going and two-point conversions. Yeah. So I was like, the odds aren't in their favor. Yeah, you're going for something that odds aren't in your favor that you haven't been able to do all season. Yeah, that's a great idea. Dumbasses. <laughs> but here's the thing, man. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody. And there's plenty of time that's still left for things to change. Three weeks ago, the Cardinals were the number one seed and um, thought to be invincible. Now, all of a sudden... They're free falling like a mother they humper. Lost to the, again, the Lions of all right. teams. They lost to the damn Who's Lions. Still at the moment, I think I have the number one pick at the moment. <laughs> well, they keep on winning. They're gonna lose that. Well, it's either them or the Texans just won. Did they win today? Yeah, they did. So you gonna see East Side here all week. That's why we saw East Side <laughs> in the check. Yeah, because yeah, they're playing the Jaguars, which aren't a good team. So I think that. So that's four. Okay, that's a that's the headphone rack. Right? Yeah, yeah, that one. Might so be I can more. do. Okay, so I can do some blue footballs. Yeah. I started doing one blue already. And then the Just other, the other one, if, it, if if the white looks good, you can put that one together tomorrow. Okay. The white looks good. I need to sand some more balls here. I got to sand my balls so I can paint here. Can you leave that for me? And I'm gonna paint a couple of balls, and then I'm gonna get out of here. Actually, I've got another gray. I could do. There's another gray right there. So. Yeah. All right. I'll catch you guys.